Simulated trading, also known as paper trading, is the best way to learn and develop the skills needed to become a successful trader, as it allows you to practice, develop, and test strategies without risking a single penny. Because during the learning phase of your day trading journey, the market is going to throw a lot of different situations at you where you're going to make a lot of mistakes. But the good news is, is that from those mistakes, that's where you're going to gain experience and grow as a trader. But the very last thing you want are those mistakes wiping out most of your capital before you get the full understanding on how to do this correctly. So I want to show you a fantastic free simulator you can use to practice the methods you'll be taught and experience different situations in a safe environment so that when you do start to use real money, you'll have a better chance of finding success. Now, the trading simulator I recommend comes from a platform called TradingView. It's a platform best known for its state-of-the-art charting capabilities, but it also comes with an easy-to-use simulator as well. Now, the cool thing about TradingView is that it's super easy to sign up. Anybody can join. You don't need to fill out an application or even use a credit card. All you need is an email address. Now, TradingView is free, but they do offer some paid versions of this, which will unlock more features. But for people who are just getting started and want to learn the basics of charting and inputting orders, the free version is just fine. However, I will say, once you start getting a little bit more serious about trading and you want to continue to use TradingView for your charting platform, then you might want to upgrade to one of these plans to unlock more features. I personally run the Pro Plus version, and that's because I can look at more stocks at one time, I can set more price alarms, and I can do more drawings. Now, considering that TradingView is the best charting platform out there right now in terms of speed, reliability, and functionality, you can see the prices are pretty cheap compared to these more expensive platforms. But if you do want to save by choosing an upgraded plan, be sure to create a new account by clicking the link in the description of this video, which will bring you to this page. So once we are on this page, we need to create a new account by clicking the Get Started button. So we're going to click on that. Next, we're going to sign up by using an email address, or you can use your credentials on any of these other platforms. So for me, I'm just going to sign up using an email, and then I'm going to input my credentials. All right, so now that we have created an account, we need to head over to the charting page to then access the trading simulator. So to do that, we need to mouse over where it says products right here, and then we're going to click super charts. Now, like I said before, TradingView is mainly a charting platform, which you can use to look at the price history of stocks. And we're going to use these charts to determine whether a stock is worth purchasing by doing chart analysis, which is essentially just drawing lines on our chart to determine high probable areas that we can buy or sell stock to make a profit. So it's going to be this area where most of our attention will be. So if you want to practice buying and selling stocks based on your chart analysis, you need to open up the paper trading simulator. And to do that, we need to come down here to the bottom where it says trading panel. So we're going to click trading panel, and then it's going to open up a bunch of brokers that we can use to link to our charts. But we're not going to worry about that right now because we just want to focus on paper trading. So we want to click paper trading right here and click connect and then just click connect again. And then this is going to bring us to our trading panel. Now the trading panel is going to provide you with key metrics about your trading account, such as your account balance, which starts you out at $100,000 in fake money. I made $2 in this account because I was playing around with it earlier. Over here is going to show you your active positions. If you click on orders, it's going to show you all your orders. If you click on history, it's going to show you all the orders that you have placed in the past. If you click on account history, it's going to show you your balance over time. And then if you click trading journal, it's going to kind of show you all of your activity on here. So again, as you start placing trades, this entire area is going to populate and you can use this to review your performance. Now you can minimize this if you want to by clicking this underscore right there. And if you ever want to get back to it, just come back down to where it says paper trading and click. And you can make this as big or as small as you want. All right, now to start placing orders, we need to open up the order panel. So we're gonna come over to this up and down arrow button right there and click that, and it's going to pop up the area where you're going to input orders. So this section right here where it says units, that's where you're going to input how many shares you want. 
this area right here is going to be where you're going to select the order type. So just to give you a quick example, let's say that we want to buy 200 shares of Apple because that's what the chart is on right now. And we want to place a market order. So we're going to leave market selected. And then we're going to make sure that buy is selected by this being highlighted in blue. So then all we have to do is click the buy button. And then as you can see, our order has just been executed. You can see that we got filled down here 200 shares to buy Apple. And then up here, we can see our open position, 200 shares, and our PL changing in real time. Now let's go the other way and sell the entire position. So we have 200 shares. We're going to make sure that 200 is selected in the units box. We're going to choose market, and then we're going to click this sell button. And then we're going to confirm it down here by clicking this button right here. And then now we just sold our 200 shares of Apple. All right, now if we want to see how much we made on that trade, we can go to account history and it looks like that we just got out at break even. We didn't make anything and that's okay because we're practicing, okay? We're learning how to place orders, we're learning how to chart and we're testing different strategies. And from these actions, we can take notes and learn from them. All right. So as you can see, this is a great way to learn and practice different strategies and methods that you come across. My biggest tip though, when trading in a simulator is to treat it like a real account. One of the biggest mistakes people make when trading in a simulator is not taking it seriously. Because there's no real money on the line, it's easy to treat the exercise more like a game than a serious simulation of real trading. And this usually leads to unrealistic actions and choices that you wouldn't normally make when actual money is on the line. So if you really want to learn without the risk of losing your hard earned money in the learning phase, then you have to use the same level of care and diligence as you would in a real account. This means using realistic position sizing, following your trading plan and keeping detailed notes about your trades. I hope you all learned something from this video and I'd like to thank you so much for watching.